zoom in on my foot. What you're seeing right here, wait, can you actually zoom or? Oh, just get up and get up all close and personal on here. This is smart wool socks and it's got a cool little campground scene. There's some nuclear waste uh, right here. And then in the background, we can see a Sasquatch. Why am I showing you this? There's a reason for that. Spencer Shea is my idol in many ways. He has great socks. He has great friends who are named after the jobs that they do. Um, but most importantly, he made Spaghetti Tacos famous in the television show iCarly, which is going to be rebooted and then displayed on some TV network that you shouldn't subscribe to. Just pirate that shit. Anyway, today we're going to make Spaghetti Tacos. Roll credits. In the episode of iCarly, it's uh, the segment called I Cook, surprise, uh, where they make Spencer's spaghetti tacos. They say you need three ingredients, spaghetti, duh, uh, tacos, shells, duh, so we're two for two right now, and then third, their super secret sauce. They did not elaborate on how to use a super secret sauce, and they also didn't put meatballs in it because Sam ate all the meatballs. <laughs> Classic Sam. Anyways, here's how to make my super secret sauce. First, take half an onion, then take half a zucchini. Um, spray them with your Pam spray, pan sear that shit. Next, you're gonna wanna take traditional pasta sauce with nothing else added to it. This is the Hy-Vee uh, generic brand. Dump, uh, you know, some. <laughs> a vibe's worth, if you will. Perfect. Bland is all hell. Dump a vibe's worth into that, and then you're gonna wanna also add some of the stuff that's gonna make it taste like real actual Italian sauce. A fork load of minced garlic. My phone also wants to autocorrect garlic to grolic all the time. Like grolics is when you like, people in cartoons swear and like a bunch of like daggers and skulls and like ampersands and at signs come out. I, I never text that before. I just tell people to go fuck themselves. But my phone apparently thinks it's quite important. <laughs> I'm gonna add also some onion powder. Not a ton, there's already onions in there. Um, although the Italians don't hold back with the onions, or the adultery. Uh, some crushed red peppers. Remember, um, if you're white, don't season light. Put that on a t-shirt. White pepper. And then uh, the green Italian herb uh, that is not marijuana, it is oregano. Wink, wink. Seriously though, don't put actual marijuana on this. It's heat activated, but uh, it will tear your insides up. This is, hemp fibers are the same thing used to make rope. So I repeat, repeat, do not actually eat marijuana. Bad idea. This has been a public service announcement from Nick and Zach. Smoke your drugs, kids, don't eat them. If I paid for the good microphone, we're gonna hear it. Is it bad that I have an erection now? It'd be weird if you didn't. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna add a little bit of a twist to the Shays recipe from iCarly. I'm gonna take a bag of mozzarella cheese, um, leave the bloody thumb out of the bag, and then I'm going to lightly season the inside of the taco shells with cheese and then cook them lightly on their side, just enough to melt uh, the on the inside though. I'm gonna take one, fill it around the side so it has plenty of room to maneuver about and melt in there. This will hopefully give me just like a solid wall of cheese up on one side of the taco, which will not only be delicious, it will also increase uh, the structural durability of the whole thing. I had a cool word lined up, then I realized like dynamic, and like, that just sounds like corporate buzzwords. And frankly, I haven't embraced corporate America to that degree yet. I'm open for offers, corporate America. If you can hear me, please get me out of this hellhole that I live in. Thank you. Next, we're gonna wanna put these into the oven. Ignore the cornbread, that's a separate mini soda we're filming right now. We film these concurrently, that's real behind the scenes shit. You're welcome. 
Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and cook those for about three minutes, just enough for the cheese to get all nice and ooey gooey. Next, we're gonna have a pan all oiled up, like right here. We're gonna lay that smack down on a burner on low, and then we're gonna wanna just scorp our sauce right into that pan. Um, the onions and the zucchini have already been cooked. Uh, the tomato sauce already comes, it's something that needs to be cooked. So this is pretty much just to warm it up right now. What I'm gonna do in a second is add uh, the mostly cooked pasta noodles uh, into the bowl so they can all cook together. The difference between uh, noodles and sauce and pasta is actually having them cook in the pan together. Uh, I learned that thanks to Gordon Ramsay. So, with these, um, the Italians have a phrase when the noodles are cooked on the outside but still have a little bit of give left on the inside. That phrase is al dente, or in Italian, to the teeth. Uh, it's a very sensual language. They're, they're good at that, I'll give, I'll give it to them. All right, go. Oh, I never stopped. Oh, hey Zach. Yeah? Ever seen Lady of the Tramp? Yeah, no, no, uh, no. Uh, 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 uh. Well, while it's uh, cooking like this, the little bits of sauce coming out the side make it look sort of like a COVID cell. <laughs> Must've been why Italy got so hit so hard. Jesus Christ. I mean, the man's not wrong. All right, it's been an additional uh, three minutes. We're gonna take these out and then to see if the tacos have achieved their peak ooey gooeyness. And then let's rotate them so they face me. And nice, we got a nice little spider web of cheese on these bad boys. So we're gonna put those off to the side while we wait for the spaghetti part to be ready before we can finally plate the tacos. So we're about to throw the spaghetti noodles into the pot. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do with your cooked noodles is slice them in half. Uh, because otherwise you're gonna get too long and they're gonna be dangling out the sides of your taco and nobody likes a bunch of dangling strands out of their taco. I like the taco to be nice, clean, with the trimmed up edges, all nice and personal. I'm still talking about spaghetti. Um, it's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Nice. Looks like uh, I'm a Nemo Nemo from uh, that movie where they find Nemo. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna take that, throw it in your bowl again, and then just dump that all up into here, and then where did my spatula go? We're gonna mix this all up and around. Don't be afraid to really get in there. You're gonna want it to be nice and saucy. Oh, by the way, since this is carbs inside of carbs, if you're eating Atkins, South Beach, or Keto, you're gonna wanna not fucking eat this. Uh, if you are living with a diet that lets you enjoy the finer things in life, go ahead and fucking eat this. Remember when South Beach was a thing and now Keto came back and it's literally just South Beach? You probably don't, Zach. You don't have, you don't have a Nana like me who did all those fad diets before she um, realized that- my, my grandma loved the um, like uh, lunchable South Beach diet things. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. those are good. My Nana did a bunch of different fad diets, and she finally found one that worked for her, uh, meth. I totally thought you were gonna say she died. Oh. I don't know, after the meth we kinda lost contact. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> meth, it's not what's for dinner. You'll be too busy building a fence at 3 a.m. And skipping your grandson's 14th birthday party because you said that you were chasing cows. You don't own a field, Nana. You don't even have a farm. Oh, all right, now we've got it all nice and spaghettified. Uh, what we're going to do is take your individual taco, cradle it lightly. You should always handle a good taco with care. And then we're going to just gently fold in the spaghetti so that it doesn't come over the sides. Make sure you get a little bit of that sauce and the veggies in there. So it's not just carbs on carbs on carbs. Spaghetti carbonara, boom. <laughs> And then yeah, try and try and fail to fold it in nicely, and then repeat this with uh, three more. Lay that down there. Go oh, faster, like. This <laughs> is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> God damn it, Italy! <laughs> Fuck it, this one's gonna be mine. 
shut up. <laughs> I was gonna. I was about to say this is an idiot-proof food, but apparently I've just defied God to make me a bigger idiot. Ah, shit! We're good. We're good. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. Just keep telling yourself that, Nick. Just, just keep gonna, telling. I'm just gonna hold this. Thank you, Zach. You're welcome. All right, boom. What we have here is a nice plate of uh, Spencer Shea spaghetti tacos. Uh, a lovely taco with some uh, mozzarella sauce, and then uh, I guess you just eat it like a taco. Then I don't know. I kind of kind of wung this bone after the teeth.